the gift that they give of each other and their lives together, the first seed is the beginning of a new family. And to, you know, plant that, that family in the midst of the church community where they can be supportive for their whole journey. Hi there, we're back. That's right, we have another great interview for you from the Marriage Catechumenate Summit here in Houston, Texas. Today, we're talking to the Wrights. Deacon Jim Wright is a member of the Permanent Diaconate, serving at St. Angela Marici Catholic Church here in the Archdiocese of Galveston, Houston, while his wife, Christy, serves as the Director for Family Life at Christ the Redeemer Catholic Church. In this interview, we talk, we talk about family and the importance of support from the church community. They also share their experience about serving as Shark Tank judges, evaluating project plans from the small groups during the summit. We hope you enjoyed this interview and please keep an eye out for the documentary coming soon. How can we, uh, our in pastoral ministry of marriage preparation and working with couples, um, you know, evangelize couples through this process, like help them grow in deeper love with Christ and get them engaged in being a part of the community besides just coming to go through the, the necessary preparation of marriage. For, for the wedding, but really enter into the, the full breadth of community. For me, it's very heartening to see such a grassroots approach from the, from the, the laity, uh, how, how they come together, very, very sharp people that are, that are really on top of, uh, they're, they're really, uh, you can tell they're all called to ministry. And uh, they're dedicated, they've dedicated their lives to this. And that's really good to see, especially in this time, uh, during this time uh, in the church when, you know, marriages seem to be in trouble. And uh, I, I just love to see that because that's what's going to bring marriage back into the, uh, something wholesome and, and life giving for the church, for the whole church. If marriages die in the church, uh, the church is gonna soon follow, <laughs> you know, yeah. so. Yeah. And, and just, you know, encouragement to, you know, reassure couples when we meet with them that um, they're, the gift that they give of each other and their lives together, the first seed is the beginning of a new family. And to, you know, plant that, that family <laughs> in the midst of the church community where they can be supportive for their whole journey. We picked them together with uh, two other with uh, two other people and I, I believe the reason why we, we chose that group is because out of all of the groups we think that the, that group stressed the spirituality in, of marriage and, and uh, people growing in their ability to pray with one another and uh, just the general overall spirituality of, of that they brought out and emphasized in their process, in their idea of what the process can be. Uh, that was we, very impressive. Yeah, we really liked the fact that they took um, an approach to after the wedding, reflecting on the ritual and what how it affected them when they went through it and what they got from reflecting on it after. And we love the part uh, where they said about um, engage them in the healing ministry of the church. You know, bring the stuff that they've experienced, the pain and the struggles, and bring that to the church and give themselves to the healing that's available. So those are really right. the main because I mean that's what the Eucharist is about, you know. To, we're all we're all called to be blessed and, and broken, 
and and shared, you know, with each other. And, and they brought that out really yeah. strong. Oh, wow. We love it.